Our top local story tonight on Eyewitness News at 5.30, medical marijuana stolen. Thieves target the same house not once but four times in the last year. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau spoke with the victims today. He is live right now at Providence Police Headquarters where investigators are looking into the crime. The victims are not only the men who were licensed to grow this marijuana, but more importantly, even to the growers, is the patients who expected to be able to use the drug. They cost about $1,000 each to grow. So everything's right. Everything's correct. You're not going to see any discrepancy. Every the volunteers who grow the pot in this apartment track every plant. This time, the suspects took nine that were growing to become one of their patients' prescriptions. This isn't, this isn't just some party place. This is a place where we're helping sick people. And I'm sure they wouldn't feel as good about what they were doing if they realized they were adversely affecting cancer, Tourette's, and Crohn's patients. This is break-in number four since last year. Dominic Perillo was home during one of those break-ins through this bathroom window. As far as personal concerns, as far as being nervous, I'm, I'm more concerned that we may lose more medicine for more patients than anything else. What I do is hard work, and it's for the patients, and I really don't like the fact that this is possibly, you know, people are taking it out on the street for whatever purpose. This was full. The goal of these medical marijuana growers is to offer year-round availability for free to the patients. So they recreate different temperatures and climates to keep the supply up, no matter what season it is outside. Oh, extremely frustrating. Quite honestly, I wish I could sit down and talk with the young men, because we've actually seen them a couple of times. They, they appear to be teenagers that are doing this. Uh, I'd like what to would you say to them? Well, I'd try to explain to them all the harm they're doing. They also believe that once the compassion centers are open in Rhode Island, some of these security issues will potentially go away. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.